Uh, my name is Tomáš Pěnčí and this is uh, Jan Záruba and we came as SAP partner to talk something about what we are doing in our company. Uh, I will start a little bit. Uh, you know, every time when you come to some presentation something wrong happened and today it happened immediately in the first presentation because we prepared this nice blue presentation. We take the company t-shirts and then guys from SAP came and switched the t-shirt to the red color. <laughs> so thank you guys. <laughs> we have it perfect but now it's not perfect. No, anyway, just continue. Uh, yeah. I will only mention what our company does. Uh, we are the company developing uh, retail solutions. So uh, every software you can imagine in, in uh, stores or in some centrals behind the, behind the stores. And one of the application is application uh, which is used by the employees on stores. They are running with handhelds uh, where our application is running. This, appli uh, this application uh, is used f for example uh, for uh, creating inventories for some registration of goods movement in the store, uh, for example for uh, ordering uh, new, new goods into store. So this is the main goal of the application. Uh, to know somehow, uh, to know a little bit uh, what's the amount of instances, the middle project we have uh, is running uh, around 1000 instances, let's say 10 handhelds in the store. Uh, middle sized project has uh, 100 store, for example, in some uh, country. And what are the main features uh, which, have to, which we have to uh, care about? It has to be uh, offline first. It means it have to running absolutely without Wi-Fi, without any connections, and only for some initial uh, synchronization can be online, and then every, everything what you need have to be on the device itself. So this is why we have to think about keeping large data. Uh, when I'm talking about large data, I'm talking about keeping in memory, for example, about half million of articles. So it can mean hundreds of megabytes or maybe gigabytes. Yeah, and now I'm giving the word to Jan. He will mention you, uh, say you a little bit more about uh, the devices itself and the software. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, from the historical point of view, we started with these old Nice. I don't, I don't know if you if you can see the, the, the laser, but this is the left side. The Vinci, very old fashioned something. Sometimes you can see it even now in the stores, because they are very conservative. But uh, like the time runs, uh, we, have, we have to adopt some iOS Android. Firstly, it was implemented only, only for some retail fair and for, for, for some demo for a customer to show how we are cool and sexy and how we can work. But uh, in the time we have to, <laughs> we have to focus on that and, and it, it, it became the, the, main, the, the main application. Of course, uh, there, of course uh, there are some, this concept has, 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 some, uh, has some benefits for this. It is, it is really stuff uh, the, uh, implemented and targeted to the o uh, operation system standard. So as an Android user, you have all uh, standard Android stuff and uh, Android behavior and so on. As the iOS user, the same one. And you are very quick. But uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the time during the implementation, we found out that uh, we have we have very often some uh, some requirements uh, to unify the designs. Uh, I don't know really why, but uh, the requirements was or were, 
uh, and we have to face it. And in this situation, we always have to have to implement it in in every platform uh, individually. And we have, of course, some uh, so, some some contradictions because some some things on uh, iOS is is uh, easily possible and Android not, and vice versa. Uh, so it was uh, not really often, not not really not, not really uh, uh, good. Not from the developer point of view, it was okay for developers, but from the management point of view, it was it was not so not so good. The, there were other things like you have to you you have to very good uh, very good uh, handle the requirements. And the analysis of the requirements was very very demanding. You have to you have to analyze it for each platform individually. You have to you have to maintain some documentation and uh, testing and and so on and so on. Together with that, you ha you have to have uh, wider develop development teams. You have to have uh, developers uh, skilled in Android, iOS, and and other areas. Uh, then, as uh, let's say the 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 sub partner and of course for, from the from the management point of view it was it was logical step to somehow try some ui unification so uh, we decided to have uh, <coughs> to to have one ui in this in this uh, case ui5 the web ui and and uh, we we decided to kept our uh, Android, we call it native. Uh, as I know, it is not a precise term, but uh, the native code of iOS and Android, the business logics, the storage. As Tomas mentioned, we have to uh, we we have to we have to keep and maintain uh, large data. We it is uh, stored in some relation database, but it, it can it can take it can take gigabytes. So uh, it has to be it, it has to be stored somewhere. So and the logics are very demanding. So as a development step, we, dis we, we decided that we will create UI5, UI5 frontend, and bridge it together with Cordova to uh, to uh, Android and potentially in uh, in iOS. We started with Android iOS in let's say in the plan, but uh, we will see. Of course, this is not the ideal situation because uh, because uh, the development process itself is not uh, is not easier. The the, the life of uh, the hybrid hybrid application developer is not easy. I can say it. I I am part of the dev team, so uh, it it uh, brings a uh, very uh, lot of lot of uh, Problems. Uh, for example, if you if you use Cordova plugin, we have we have some let's say uh, the business process like Tomas mentioned uh, goods movement or inventory, and for each of this process we have some Cordova plugin which bridge which bridge us to this the loading save uh, loading and saving data uh, f from and to uh, UI5. But uh, every time, every time you you found a bug or or you have to or or you want to uh, add something to Cordova plugin, it is not it is not very straightforward how to how to put it to the Cordova project. You have to somehow some somehow publish it either locally or 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 using some repository, for example Nexus, something like that, and you have to rebuild it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> This is this this is life, and of course uh, and of course the plugin we didn't find the very good way how to test the Cordova plugin. So the testing is done usually usually like this that you install the Cordova plugin into the Cordova application and then run tests. This is not so nice, but it's working somehow. Of course, uh, the joining the SAP world is. Maybe good good things, good thing. And the other thing is, uh, may major uh, from mainly for our designers that there are some framework limitation because our designers are very creative. But uh, in UI five, you have no not such more no no such much much no much no no more space to some changing fonts and whatever you want. 
every time you every time you do it you you risk that in the next in the next version it will be it will be in other way and it stop working so this there this is never ending story but i think we keep learning and now it is better uh, and we take this hybrid application as a uh, as a uh, development step uh, in the future we have uh, we have other plan we have plan to we have plan to reduce the native or android code uh, as m as much as possible but i can hand over to Mash and he can say something more yeah. it uh, should be near future and because near future is coming so that's why i will a little bit talk about it uh, the our uh, strategy is to uh, have as less code as possible. Uh, you know, the reasons are clear. Costs, uh, less line of codes in summary means uh, less uh, probability of bugs. And yeah, the uh, motivation why we do that uh, uh, comes together or go goes together with uh, uh, the pros. Uh, what are the negative is that uh, we will be uh, most probably uh, had worse performance than in native and uh, we have to force the UI5 framework limitation. Yeah, this is the point where we can discuss if it's a uh, negative or positive uh, point. Uh, yeah, so what we want to do is to reduce the, uh, the reduce the native part absolutely to minimum and to have written in native only really the uh, native specific stuffs like uh, uh, handling of notifications of system events, uh, controlling the scanner because the retail devices uh, uh, no, are no mobiles like it's shown on, on uh, this picture, but they are rubber with uh, laser scanner and so on. So you have to somehow uh, uh, somehow access it. So that's our target to rewrite uh, almost everything to JavaScript. Uh, what we have originally or uh, currently what we have in uh, the business logics. Uh, yeah, with this uh, it comes some open points which we don't have solved yet. Uh, the biggest problem probably is the storage, uh, because as I mentioned the big data. Uh, uh, we are thinking about if we, if we uh, should continue on SQL based uh, databases, right now we are using SQLite, or if to switch somehow to no SQL DB and maybe follow some uh, in browser database like index DB. Uh, the problem right now is that uh, the in browser databases have the storage limitations or other limitations which uh, don't go uh, together with our requirements. So this is the open point. We still are using SQLite, so we will see how we will go on. Maybe uh, Google will decide to uh, st uh, stop the limitations. We will see. Uh, <coughs> next open point is uh, how far we should move our ap application to JavaScript. The management uh, reasons are clear. We want to have as less native as possible because we don't want to maintain it several times. Uh, the question if it, it's, if it will be effective, for example, for the layer if it should not stay uh, in native. We will see after some first test we are doing right now. Yeah, and the last thing is the performance. Uh, uh, Again, we have to uh, we have to think about the performance of UI five of the JavaScript itself. Uh, if it will be performant for customer enough, because they don't want to 
wait on the shelf three seconds for scanning of some item. When they are receiving the goods, they expecting uh, answers in two or three hundred milliseconds, not not the seconds. So uh, it's uh, every time fight with uh, our management, customer view. You probably know it. A lot of us, a lot of uh, a lot of you, knows this this uh, state. Yeah, and this is probably all what we have. Um, if you want, you can uh, give us some feedback on the uh, event application. Uh, if you have any questions, we will we, we, we will uh, be happy to answer you. We have still some four minutes for questions, so we, I can immediately ask, do you have any questions? <laughs> No. <laughs> then